Hey, this is Left Technical, and I'm going to talk about the trackbar. So let's add a trackbar to the form and resize it. And I'm going to talk about the objective of this trackbar for the example. And what I'm going to do is when you slide this tab on the trackbar to the right or to the left, it's going to change the opacity of the form. And so when the tab on the trackbar is all the way to the left, the, o the form should be completely transparent. And when the tab is over to the right over here, the form should be completely opaque. And so we want to have the maximum value to the right be 100, and the minimum value to the left would be 0. And we need a high number like 100 because the trackbar value is an integer and we don't an integer sorry an integer doesn't have the precision we need to change the opacity of the form without making a, a high number you'll see that you'll see later on so the small change here is the um, changes that occur when you press the arrow keys when the trackbar has focus so if I press the arrow key once the left arrow key trackbar would move one unit left and the same thing really goes for the large change but that applies to the page up and page down keys and you the value is separate from the small change so I'm going to change the tick style to none because we don't need those ticks you can also change the tick frequency if you need those ticks for reference that will just increase those little lines the amount of lines there are. And you can change the orientation to vertical or horizontal. We're going to keep it on horizontal for now. What else? We've got, we got to change the maximum uh, value to 100 because we want our precision. And that's that should be it for configuring the trackbar. Now let's double click on the trackbar to generate the default event handler. The default event handler is the scroll event and we are going to change the opacity of the form every time we scroll so this dot opacity is equal to cast to double trackbar one dot value divided by 100 and so this just uh, takes the value and changes it into a double a smaller number appropriate for this opacity and uh, that should do it and it's probably best if I make the default value 100 since 100 is completely opaque yes now what if I didn't want the user to make the form completely opaque I would need to change the minimum value and we would want to go down to this minimum property and change that to say about 50 so the user can only change the form to 50 percent transparency or more alright that's that's it hope you learned something this is left technical signing out